Hey, what's up, guys? Today I prepared a video for you how to become a better player. It's Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3. Myself, first first month playing Black Ops 3, myself, I had a lot of uh, troubles with the game. I really struggled a lot. Felt like I never played Call of Duty before, even though. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't a great player before, but back in Advanced Warfare in uh, Ghost and previous titles, I was considerably good. Like, I had KD, KD ratio over 1, 1.5 or even, even more, even more than that, but at launch of this game I really felt like I was in uh, much of a struggle. Mm, and I couldn't understand why, what I was doing wrong. Uh, first of all, I had some issues with the PC. I didn't get enough performance to play on good settings, but it wasn't the case. It wasn't the one, one only reason of my of my troubles here in the game. But after like two months playing of this game I, I realized that uh, there are certain weapons that you can use that actually make your life much much easier than the other guns you can use the other guns I mean and here I prepare some short list of of the weapons that you that you would rather use if you are a beginner of the game and you looking to improve looking to get better scores um, Alright, let's go into it first. Uh, first one is gonna be an assault rifle. Yeah, there are many in the games, but in the game, but uh, not all of them are easy to use. Typically, in this game, assault rifles got a lower rate of fire than usually and uh, consider considerably high uh, high damage, relatively high damage, let's say. And here. My weapon of choice is gonna be for you. It's ICR1. ICR1 is excellent. ICR1 is an excellent gun. It has the lowest recoil of all assault rifles. Well, it has some mediocre damage and rate of fire. The rate of fire is gonna be normal for this game, and the damage is gonna be five to four to five bullets to kill, which is normal. It's not too bad. But the really good thing for the gun is that. The recoil, the recoil it has is is almost it's almost negligible. It's almost not not existent. I mean, it reminds me of an ICR uh, ACR from the Modern Warfare 2 without stopping power. It was exactly like this. Really good uh, recoil, slightly high rate of fire, and the same damage profile. 30 up close and 20 at really long range. 20% damage. Well, that's the gun you want to use if you if you are really having the trouble with your aim. You cannot ma manage the recoil. The recoil is pretty strong in this game for other guns. Well, ICR ICR1 has really good one control the recoil, and it's kind of fast to open within ranking system, like 16 rank to open, it. so you get an access to it pretty fast. The other one you wanna probably wanna try out is gonna be HVK 30. It has slightly high recoil, but same damage profile, but it shoots faster. Uh, 750 RPM compared to 660, I guess, RPM for ICR1. So you can trade a little bit of accuracy for it to fire. So those two weapons, in my opinion, is gonna be the best choice of assault rifle, assault rifle category. Of course, you may disagree with me if you want to try. I would suggest you to try uh, the Burst XM2 and uh, of course the M8 rifles. They are excellent weapons of choice, but they have Burst. Many people don't really like to deal with the Burst fire rifles. So that's it for the assault rifles. The next is going to be uh, SMGs. SMGs are very common in this game. In my opinion, the best one you you want to use is the if you're not a really high skill player, probably the best one is gonna be the fastest one. Or uh, the second fastest one to be exact. In my how I see it, the WMPs by far the best 
SMG spread prey category. So if you don't really have a great aim and you want to hit fire a lot, you want to go with either either BMP or the Vespa. Well, BMP has a little bit slower rate of fire of 900, when the Vespa has 1,200 RPM. But BMP has bigger magazine size, probably better recoil in my opinion, and a longer range. It's still gonna the boss of the of those guns gonna kill in four to six shots for up close and six the distance but uh VMP has much longer four shot kill range and this is really important. In my experience VMP is the great one. Everyone hates it or, uh, like, because you no matter how good you are you're going to score with it. You're going to like it. So I highly suggest you to use it. Well, moving on next is gonna be LMG category. LMG was always been one of my favorite guns, favorite weapon category to use. And here, uh, the one stands out is the Gorgon. Uh, the Gorgon is my favorite LMG in this game so far. Don't get me wrong, the other ones are great too. I actually like all of them, but the Gorgon has like the niche. It's, it has two. Uh, it kills in two bullets, just two bullets, uh, like almost in every range. So you want to try the Gorgon. No. The really big downside it has its rate, of, its rate of fire is really low at like 300 RPM. So it shoots like probably slower than you can do in semi-automatic mode. Well, that's the really downside of the gun, but. You have to play slow and play, you have to play slow and patiently, patiently with this. Like uh, get yourself a thermal scope. Uh, don't be afraid of camping. It's gonna pay. It's gonna work out for you. Don't rush. Just play objective game modes and camp. There is nothing wrong with that. Many guys camp in the game, so take take my advice. And Try. If you don't want to, if you want a faster fire, and I would recommend you Dingo. It behaves more like HVK30 from side rifle category. Really fast, but it kills in 45 bullets. Lower damage, but really big mag capacity and and uh, relatively high rate of fire. Fastest in the category. The golden is slowest. The Dingo is fast. Well, the other one is Dredge and BRM. BRM is a mediocre one. Uh, I think that's the worst. And the Dredge is six ra uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. round bursts, um, just something like really unusual. And it opens really late in the prestige in uh, ranking. So you may wait on this one to for later. Like first try Gorgon, Dingo. Uh, probably be, uh, when you master those two, you can try Dredge. 38, 48. Well, moving on next is the sniper rifle, and here is the best one by, without an argument, without without any doubt, the best one is going to be Dracon, right, uh, Dracon, Drake, Drake and Dracon uh, sniper rifle. It's semi-automatic, it behaves like a marksman rifle, semi-automatic one, shoots pretty slow but has excellent damage, one shot kill potential in the neck and the head. Or always gonna kill in two shots. It deals like 80% damage in a flat without multiplier head. And uh, it has pretty small recoil. It has like pretty controllable. It's easy to use and it's really strong. Everyone hates a big magazine, 20 rounds. Put a thermal scope on it and you're gonna beast. Uh, don't be afraid to camp with it. Well, and get yourself a secondary backup weapon, which we're gonna check about a little bit later. Um, well, the other snipers are really hard to use for beginners in this game, so I'm going to recommend you to first try the guard, uh, the dragon sniper first. Well, the next is gonna be what? Next is gonna be shotgun. Uh, the shotguns are kind of strong in this game, surprisingly to me. But the the best one to use for beginners is gonna be one that shoots semi semi and 
fully automatic in respect to respectively. The first one is uh, the Brecci. Brecci's are excellent. Shotgun kills in two shots almost at any range it has. It has a limited range, of course, like any shotguns in the game. But it won't kill in one one shot, but two is mo mostly guaranteed for you to get a kill. Mm. I like what I like about it is pretty good range, pretty good damage, but kind of slow rate of fire even for semi-automatic. So I would consider use a rate of fire when you unlock this attachment. Uh, and of course you want to use the laser side attachment on it as well as uh, extended mag. So choose two of those or use use the uh, use a specialist slot. For another special slot, to use the primary gun fighter to add three attachments on the gun. And the haymaker it op opens a little bit later in the, uh, in the ranking, but it's it's another excellent choice for the shotgun. It kills a little bit slower than Gretchen, like usually in three shots, two, three, or even four sometimes. But it has faster rate of fire, bigger magazine. Same attachments for this one. You won't regret using any of those. I see many people in ra online running those weapons and they get on top of the uh, of the leaderboard <laughs> in the lobby with, uh, with uh, using just those one of those two shotguns. Use it, try out, you're good on mine. Um, the next is a secondary weapon which is really important in my opinion. I run it on almost every class in the game. Which is the launcher XM XM53, how it's called in the game. It's fantastic. It's like does a great job for me in like every game because it has automatic lock on on, uh, on any vehicles, air and the ground ones, and also it has a uh, choose like RPGs. Like you don't have to you don't have to lock on free to shoot and anything. So you can both use it against against vehicle and uh, enemies. I almost run it on every class, as I said. It's always useful, especially in the in the objective game mode, such as safeguard. Basically, the other one, too, even TBM. Just put it as a secondary. You want to grab. You get, you're gonna get a lot of points for taking down those UAVs, counter UAVs, you can even take down the rep in two shots. Really useful. Try it out. Uh, well, if you wanna have a pistol to your sniper rifle or a shotgun, I don't know. The best of those three, in my opinion, is the, the first one. It's the same automatic pistol. It's called MR6. It's easiest to use in my opinion. It has a re really slow recoil and a really small recoil, and it has really big magazine size and a great damage. Why don't you use that? Kills in three to four bullets. Three to four for pistols better than many assault rifles, in there. and the three shot kill range is really decent. Uh, the other two no secondaries are. Have high recoil and slower damage, so they are really harder to master. May, we may try them out, but I think the first one is the best. MR6 use it. Well, going into the specialist category, the specialist is, is, is a new feature for the game that never been here before in Call of Duty series, where you actually pick yourself a character like in the Destiny or I don't know any other game that you be special from. Well, not many of them are easy to use. In my in my opinion, you usually you, you usually die before you get more than one kill. With it, if you if you even lucky to get one. So, I actually have a few ones to tell you like which which better for you, which gonna be better for you to to use. The specialist are is my favorite by far the best in the game in my opinion is the fire break and it's the uh, flame throw of the fire. The, the bad thing about it is open it opens really far in the rankings like level 54 or 44 to open. So you may consider to use your token when you prestige to open it earlier. 
Well, if you don't have access to to the purifier yet, the the, the excellent choice is going to be battery with a war machine. Uh, probably a room with a gravity fight, but in my experience, I don't get that many kills when I get with the purifier. I had like seven or eight kills today with it, and every day I uh, I, I can fuck up sometimes badly to die without getting any kill, but. When I go run into into uh, middle of the of that engagement into into enemy's base, flank him and successfully jump inside inside the area and get like quadruple kills easily. Um, go ahead and try it. Try it out. The purifier uh, flamethrower is, is the best, especially in my opinion, in the game. There are arguably some other other ones people like, but I don't see anyone even close to. It. Well, that's that's about it for this um, quick tip uh, tips for, for beginner guides. I guess. Uh, what weapons and equipments and uh, either uh, either other specialists and stuff you should use to get better in this game. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which is which is above. extremely hard for beginners in my opinion, especially here on PC. The number of tryhards this year is just over the top. In every lobby there are tryhards, campers. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't want to be a, no, a new one, new guy to this game. It's really hard. Well, I hope this list is gonna help you. How is gonna help you to improve and finally get yourself a decent score in the game? And thanks for watching. I guess uh, I'm gonna do another uh, another tips video in Call of Duty. Probably the Starcraft one coming soon. I'm still thinking of what content should be should be better for my channel. It's gonna be better. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, leave your yearly comments if you see this video please like it. And I wanna see your comments, I wanna see what you're thinking. I know my content is not it's not that great yet, but I'm working, I'm trying to improve. Alright, see you in the next video, bye. time.
Echo. Fire break needs UAV support. Wait the turn. Sensors are capture your objective. is a bust. Bring it next time. Uh, come on! Can't do this all myself. Death is an old friend. Don't make me call in any favors. <laughs> 